Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here. Hang on just a second. I already forgot something. Okay, so here we are. This is December the 31st, the very last day of the year. Can you believe that? So we've already made it to that. So Miss Peggy's been in the kitchen all day today. I've been cooking. I've been cooking cornbread. I've been cooking black-eyed peas. And um, pie. We have pie. And look, we got pie. Ooh, yes. So Miss Peggy went to the store and said, hey, I can celebrate the New Year's Eve just like anybody else. It don't matter that I'm by myself. So I decided. So I went and got me some stuff. Got black eyed peas and some cornbread and some pie. And I got some potatoes right over there soaking in some water already cut up. Just waiting for tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be an easy day for me because all I gotta do is heat this stuff up and fry some potatoes. So um, I am good. I've already eaten a piece of pie <laughs> as soon as I got back from the store. So yeah, so we are in the middle of New Year's celebration here in Cowtown. So come on in and let's party with Miss Peggy for New Year's Eve. So that's all we got to do. It is about 8.30, give or take a minute. Actually, almost 8.15, give or take a minute. <laughs> and we got to go till midnight, so let's hope we can go. I hope, hope, hope that we can get there, but if we don't, then we just don't. But anyway, we're going to have a happy New Year's. So, stick around. Okay, so we sure couldn't see the beans a while ago very good, so I'll get over here so you can see them. And I cut up some ham. I went and got some ham at the store. I was going to get the sliced breakfast ham. And then I always put a jalapeno pepper in my beans when I cook them. Now, I don't break it up. I don't cut it up. If you just cook a pepper in your beans, it will flavor it. It won't get hot. It just gives it a good jalapeno type flavor. And I've always done that. I've, I've, I Really, I'm not a hot pepper person, but when you cook beans, no matter what kind it is, just throw in a jalapeno in there and let it cook. And it will give your pepper, I mean, your beans such a good flavor. But anyway, there's my black eyed peas for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have plenty of money next year. Because I got a whole bowl of beans that I'm going to be eating. And Miss Peggy made some cornbread. I love me some cornbread. And this is my cast iron skillet. This was my mama's and it handed me down in the family. It is seasoned just perfect. Every time I use it, I'll just wipe it out and put some more oil in it. Stays great. And you can't have beans without some... Dixieland chow chow. So I always like mild. But you have to have that. What a good New Year's I'm planning for myself. And you got to have pie. So when I went to the store, of course, they got the pies right by the entrance. So when you get your basket, you go right by the pies. So I can't resist a pecan pie. That's one of my favorites. But anyway, like I said, I'm in here in my kitchen getting ready. There's my potatoes that I've been cutting up and soaking for tomorrow. That's about all I got to do is just heat this stuff up and fry me some potatoes. So we're going to have a really good Happy New Year. Charlie's walking around wondering what the heck I'm thinking about, what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
but he's ready for some food. He's always looking around the stove to see if there's anything that I dropped. So here we go. Um, it's 8.22 now. We got three hours and 20, 40 minutes. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, here we are. Still in Miss Peggy's kitchen waiting for the new year. So I was just wanting to give a toast and give some thanks and what are y'all thankful for and uh, what your blessings have been. So um, I'm thinking that Oklahoma should have an excellent crop next year because I just dumped 160 pounds of manure on them. <laughs> like that joke. Well, m my friend Dennis sent that to me, and he was thinking that Oklahoma should have an excellent crop next year because I did just dump 160 pounds of manure on them. Great. I love that. Thanks, Dennis. So, let's drink to that and toast to that because that is an excellent thing. So, one thing that I am thankful for is that 2022 was a year that I learned something. I had no idea there was people like that. When I got out the hospital and I Googled what makes Robert scream and holler every time he don't hear what I, he likes, boom, wide open, mouth open, eyes open, I never dreamed there was people like that in the world. I never knew they existed. But narcissistic personality disorder is a playbook that has his name on it. Everything that he's done in 18 years was in that. Go look at it. You'll know exactly what his personality is. I haven't read one thing yet that wasn't exactly... They said, if you do this, he'll do that. If you say this, he'll do that. Everything was exactly, I couldn't believe that everybody that has that has the same answers that he does. It's like, they're so predictable. It's almost like um, a driver's license test. It's all got the same questions. It's all got the same answers. And it's over and over and over again. And I just feel so stupid that I didn't know that. I didn't catch that. I don't know what I thought it was, but I just thought he had some personal issues he was dealing with. I don't know. It just wasn't my personality. I didn't let it affect me. But anyway, God bless Oklahoma. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. And I got everything cleaned up. I got the cornbread put in a bag, got the beans in the refrigerator, I've almost successfully eaten another piece of pie today, not this evening, mm. but that's the way you can eat when you're adulting. And it's your pie, right? And you're an adult. You can eat dessert first or whatever. So, yeah. So, um, it is 10.25. Clearly, Miss Peggy ain't going to make it to midnight. So, um, I came back on here to um, <sighs> talk to you about uh, the new year and the old year, throwing out the old, bringing in the new. Um, you know, what we had here was a failure to communicate. So, um, yeah, so we are going to start a new year. So, being 1030, you know, um, I'm not going to make it till midnight, but I thought that um, y'all could visit with me while I have my evening routine that I, I do every night and have for years and years, um, probably uh, more than 30 years, maybe 40 years 
Um, every night before I go to bed, I always, don't tell nobody, eat a bowl of ice cream. Yes, eat a bowl of ice cream. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, y'all talk to me while I get some. I have a traditional bowl. I use this one. This is my go-to, my favorite bowl. Then I go to my silverware and I get a spoon. Now, the spoon is very important when you're dipping ice cream. You have to make sure you get a spoon that is, let me put the bowl down, will not bend. Some spoons bend. Let me show you. These spoons right here, these spoons, if you dip in ice cream, these spoons will bend. I mean, um, they just will. See, I mean, I can just bend them and they're just uh, bendable. But these spoons, they will not. So you have to get a sturdy spoon because sometimes the ice cream is hard in the container. So, you know, we're from Texas and Texas, we like, and no, I don't work for them. But this is what we like. This is what our go-to is when we got pie or cake for birthdays. This is what we like. So every night I get some, usually around 8.30. Now, it is a little late. So who says you got to use the rules, right? But, um, yeah. So 2022 is over with. As of um, one hour and 30 minutes our time. Now, my friend and Cheryl in Florida, they're an hour ahead of me. So they only got an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, I mean, they got 30 minutes. I still got an hour and 30 minutes, but um, just depends on where you're at. If you're in North Carolina, you only have a, another hour. I mean, another 30 minutes. You see what I mean? This. Ice cream is so hard, that's all I can dip at one time to put in my bowl. And I have to have a spoon that don't bend. Okay, I think that'll be enough. Let me put the rest of it back in the freezer. just happens to be behind y'all and um, yeah so this is how much I have that'd probably be like I don't know two or three scoops maybe and that's that's all I get just a little bit like that oops minus a scoop let me get something to put that in let it melt a little and Charlie will lick it up. Always have been clumsy. But anyway, did you see that? Just jumped right out my bowl. So, yeah, can you believe New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve in Cowtown. You know, I read the comments all the time, and one of y'all asked me how far I live from downtown Fort Worth. 
and I only live 10 minutes from downtown. Now, since I live in the middle of about four freeways, there's one on all four sides of him. Depending on which way you go, it could be 10 minutes, or if you go around the, around the other way, it might be 12 minutes. But I don't have to drive hardly a mile in towards downtown. And I'll go down a hill and I can see downtown. So I can't really see it from my house, but I don't have to drive that far and I can see downtown. So, yeah, so. Yeah, I live in a big city. Can you believe that? But you know, when I lived in Dallas, I lived in a suburb, which was Irving. And it was a smaller town. But, you know, I love where I live. Absolutely. Um, everything is convenient to me where I live. I've got auto supplies. I've got grocery stores. I've got gas stations. I've got um, everything you could need within walking distance, really. Um, I can get fast food. I can get a restaurant. Um, I could go to the laundry mat. Um, let's see what else I've got. The drugstore. There's so many things that I've got right here within walking distance. I could walk to the post office. Um, it's just everything is right here close to me. So, I kind of get spoiled to that because when I go to a friend of mine if they live out in the country and I can just walk five, five houses down and get milk or whatever you need and go to their house And I have to drive 12 miles to get milk. Sometimes further. But, um, yeah. Everybody doesn't have all the convenience that I have. So, over the years, that's kind of helped me decide that I really enjoy where I live because of that. I mean, you know, if I, my car gets broke down... I can walk from the tire place home. I can walk from the auto place home. Um, now there was one time in the years that I lived by myself. The closest mechanic for a vehicle was, I don't know, it was like a mile from the house and since I knew I didn't have anybody to depend on and that I would have to take my van there or and drop it off and have them work on it I would need a ride home so I went to the pawn shop which I have a couple of them close to my house also um, I went there and bought a bicycle, a 10-speed bicycle, and put it in the back of my van, and when I had to take it to the shop, which was a mile away, I would get that bicycle out, and I would ride it home. And I did that for, I don't know, two or three years, and I kept that bicycle in the house where it didn't get weathered or anything. And all I ever had to do is air up the tires. But other than that, I've always been able to walk 
to the grocery store, to the tire shop, to the auto supply, to get food. Um, I think I've told y'all before, if I stand on my balcony, I can see a Dollar General in the winter time through the trees. But, you know, when you live in the city, sometimes you live close to a lot of stuff. You know? Like I said, I've got some friends that live in the country. And, um... When you go to the store, you plan ahead, and you don't forget to get stuff. You don't get back to the house and say, man, I, I forgot to get this, or I forgot to get that, because it's 30 minutes going back, you know? So, when they have to do that, they make sure they make them a list. Then when it gets time to go to get the stuff, they just get the list and um, they don't forget stuff. Where if I forget something, all I do is go five houses and back to the store. It's not like it's that far. But I get spoiled to that. People watch out there by the door because Charlie drinks the milk out of here that's left over. forgot about this right here. It hadn't melted very good, but that's the part I dropped on the floor. Probably a lot lick it up. I just don't want him to get it on the floor. Because if I give it to him like that, he'll lick it, but it'll go off the plate and onto the floor. Whenever we get to the last of the ice cream, Charlie knows it, and he knows he gets the last dripping out of the container, and I'll pour it in a bowl, and he'll see that on the cabinet, and he'll wait on it. He goes, I know, I know that's empty, and I'm getting the lick extra. See what time it is. It's 10:38. I don't know what time it was when we started a while ago, but 10:38, and I've already taken my medicine. Charlie's already taken his medicine, and we're probably just gonna go get in our pajamas now. But um, <coughs> happy New Year, and I love y'all, and I want y'all to have a wonderful year next year, and just. Let things go in the past. They're going to be old 2022 and bring in the new and welcome the new with open arms and happiness. So uh, we're all starting fresh. Everything is going to be new and just welcome it. So when you wake up tomorrow, I hope y'all don't have a hangover too bad, but you know, Miss Peggy don't drink, so I don't have to deal with that. But 
Um, I know some of y'all do, but anyway, um, take you an aspirin before you go to bed. Sometimes if you take an aspirin, um, it'll ward off a hangover tomorrow. I think it's just bare aspirins is what you need to take, but anyway, I love y'all. Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, next time you see me, it's going to be 2023. And uh, we're going to have new pennies to look forward to because tomorrow being Sunday, we've got the uh, 2020, um, two, 2023 New Year's uh, balloons, stick balloons and stuff are going to be pennying tomorrow. I'm not going to go look for some because every time I have gone out to go look for those kind of balloons, no matter if it's New Year's or 4th of July or whatever, my stores never have any. I don't know why. When I look in those little containers where they carry those stick balloons and stuff, all they ever have is happy birthdays and those are the ones that I see. So. If y'all want to go look for them, they will penny tomorrow, all the New Year's stuff. Um, and I love y'all. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. You can hear those out my window. I'm just laying here in the bed. It's 12 o'clock. Happy New Year. a lot of fireworks. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. It's slowing up a little bit.